Joining us now to talk more about that is the president and CEO of Workfront and the author of Done Right, How Tomorrow's Top Leaders Get Stuff Done. Alex Schutman is here. Alex, it's good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Mark. So I appreciate get, it. Get done, uh, how do you get things done? Tell us that. And, and that's really what the company does, right? Uh, exactly. So much like Workday automates human resources and Salesforce automates sales, Workfront automates uh, knowledge work in an organization, which is the high value work in a company like product development and design or marketing campaign creation. That's what we do for a living. So AI is basically in every industry or almost every industry at this point. Tell us the benefits and who's winning this race. Is it China? Well, I tell you, we survey businesses every year. We've done it for the last five years. And the big change in attitude that we've seen is people have gone from being scared about automation to wanting automation. And what they're realizing is if they can automate the things they don't want to do, they can spend time doing the things that add value to a company. Let me give you an example. Trek Bikes is a customer. They use Workfront for their entire design uh, marketing release of bikes. And once they started automating the things they don't want to do, they freed up 30% of their uh, time for more innovation. Hmm. Let's talk about, about China. And, uh, in Maria's intro, she talked about China really hmm. coming to the forefront on artificial intelligence. Is it your view that a, a, a country that runs um, a closed autocratic society can become an innovation leader? Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's counterintuitive to think that, that that a kind of police state could become an, a, a leader in something like artificial intelligence. Do you see that happening, and do you see that advancing in China? You know, we serve about 3,000 customers around the globe, in, including half of the Fortune 100. Um, we don't have a lot of customers in China, so most of what we work with are customers uh, in the States and in Europe. And what we see with them is a tremendous amount of, of innovation in terms of changing the way that they... Let me give you an example. Companies this year will spend $1.7 trillion on digital transformation. Wow. And so CEOs are very focused on transforming their companies because only 8% of CEOs believe that their current business models are going to survive. So that's where we see a lot of innovation happening is less on things like facial recognition and more on how do we become a more nimble company. But, but, they, but these are state-owned enterprises right. which are among the least nimble companies in the world. It's a really good question. Go governed, you know, I mean, China wants to be number one, but can it? Uh, like as I said, I, most of our customers are in the United States and Western Europe, so I don't have a deep perspective on what Chinese companies are doing. I do see a lot of innovation happening in major American corporations. As I said, we serve over the half the Fortune 100, and they're, they're doing some pretty neat things. But to your point, China can't be the world leader if other countries and companies don't trust those, those innovations and don't trust those corporations. If they're worried about China stealing your intellectual property, that gets in the way of doing and building business partnerships around the globe, to your point. Yep. And it's not like China's cornered the market on intelligence, it, like yeah. human brain power. But you brought up an interesting statistic. You said 1.7 trillion companies mm -hmm. are spending in digital transformation. But mm -hmm. when you see big companies like GE who hasn't mm -hmm. done the digital transformation well, is there an example of a big company who's invested and, and actually came out better, more progressive because of it? Yeah, we work with a major financial institution that um, they wanted to get products out the door more quickly. But as you know, there's a lot of regulation about mm -hmm. financial services products. And so it was taking them 63 days to just get review of product information done and through their transformation efforts they're now able to get those products to market much more uh, much more quickly so that's the kind of transformation efforts that we're seeing large companies do we, 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 you talk about transformation we once had buggy whip drivers that don't mm -hmm. exist in our economy anymore <laughs> mm -hmm. tell us five occupations that exist now that aren't going to exist in 20 years and five occupations that we haven't heard of that will that will exist well, you know it's interesting um, a lot of the companies that are being successful with digital transformation are taking their emerging leaders their digital natives if you will and they're putting them in charge of these transformation efforts so I would I think in the future there's going to be a chief work officer Right? And let me tell you why. Uh, the average knowledge worker only spends 39% of their time doing the job they were hired to do. This is a real digital work crisis. And so companies are starting to focus on people that have the skills to figure out how can, uh, how can they do their work uh, in a new way. Mm.
So How about occupations that won't exist. Yeah. What? <laughs> I don't have a great perspective on that will or won't. Don't say print journalists. <laughs> heard that one broadcast. <laughs> no, that will always exist, and the reason why is because humans are feeling beings that think. And so no matter what automation ever happens, there is still going to need to be a human touch in a, in a corporation. Facial recognition, is that going to be a, a, a big deal going forward? Uh, I believe it is. I believe, I mean, if, if, if I can unlock my iPhone with my face, I yeah. think that we'll find lots of uses for that. Yeah. Well, yeah, camera's always on. Alex, thank you so much. Thank you. Alex Schutman joining us there.